Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and hope you are all doing very well. Okay, today's recipe is Rasam. How many Rasam fans do we have here? I am for sure a great Rasam fan because this is one versatile dish which can be prepared in so many variations. There are endless number of variations to try out. I have already posted a couple of them and shall be trying out many many more in the upcoming videos. Today can you guess what Rasam we are making? I am sure my regular viewers will know what it is because these days we are on a spree of making Moringa recipes. Yes, it is Moringa Rasam. We are going to try out Moringa Rasam today. Moringa Rasam Tangy, spicy and delectable with the goodness of Moringa leaves. It's very nutritious. Make and enjoy it with your Thali meals. Here are the ingredients for Moringa Rasam. Some tamarind juice. I soaked about lemon sized tamarind in water. And 2 to 3 tablespoons of cooked tur dal. Handful of Moringa leaves. And we have tempering ingredients. Half teaspoon of mustard seeds. Half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Curry leaves. And pinch of asafoetida. 1 tablespoon of oil for tempering. 1 tomato. 1 teaspoon of Rasam powder. This is homemade rasam powder. I'll be sharing the recipe soon. Then salt to taste and little bit of turmeric powder, about 1 8 teaspoon. Let's proceed to make the rasam now. In a pan, take 1 cup of water. Add the washed moringa leaves. Wash them very well, changing the water 2-3 times before using them. Once they start boiling, add little bit of salt and turmeric. Add the tamarind water also as required and one tomato cut into pieces. Now we let this boil. Keep stirring intermittently. We let this boil until the tomatoes are nice and soft and the moringa leaves are cooked. You can cover the lid and reduce the flame. After a couple of minutes, this is done. Now stir in the cooked tuar dal. It's also known as arhar dal. Again, we let them cook together. Check the salt and add if it is required. Add the rasam powder as much as you like. Some like very little, some like to add more. So, it depends on your taste. Now the rasam is done, we are going to add the tempering to it. Heat 1 tablespoon of oil in a small tadka pan or tempering pan. Allow them to crackle. Now stir it into the prepared rasam. Rasam is ready. Just boil it a bit after adding the tempering. And finally add some coriander leaves. Rasam is ready. Dish it out and enjoy it hot. Lovely steaming piping hot rasam. You can even enjoy it like soup also. Or have it with your thali meals with plain rice and any side dish to go with it. Even fried fish goes very well with rasam and rice. That's our favorite meal. Or you can even soak vadas, medu vadas dunked in rasam tastes really good. And a thali meal, you can serve rasam along with some side dish here. I've served with beans poriel. Pair it with anything you like. 
if you are a new visitor to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads here are some videos from the archives do check them out we'll soon be back with another new recipe bye until then have a nice day